All right, today I'm going to talk about the victim versus the victor mindset. And uh, I think I'm actually just going to sit down right here and get myself set up. Let me just put this right here. All right, so since I last posted the video, I have shaved my head bald, so that's a new development. But anyway, <laughs> so victim versus victor mindset. I had a bad day yesterday, to be honest with you. Um, everyone has bad days. I had two bad sales calls. The first one, um, there were two people on the phone and I emailed the founder of this company and he was interested in talking to me and he added his CEO to the, to the call and the CEO was this Russian guy. And um, to be honest, he was probably busy. He probably didn't even wanna be on the phone. And I was trying to run a discovery call and I was trying to learn about them and he was just getting pissed off at me, to be honest, the whole time. And I could tell he was really pissed off. And he, he was like, just not happy at all. So that was just not, that didn't set me up for the, for, on the right foot. The founder was a nice guy. Um, the, his just a CEO didn't really, we didn't get along too well, I guess. Um, and I kind of upset him. And uh, then later on in the day, I had another call with a guy who lives near me, actually. And he, he seemed like a nice guy, but he's the kind of guy who wants to get down the business, like just right to it. And um, he also just kind of thought that everything I was saying was complete bullshit. He thought I was selling snake oil. He um, took control of the call. If he, he was like, I mean, he was a major alpha, that's for sure. Major alpha male. <laughs> um, so I, I commend him for that. But he took control of the call a few times, and I tried to ask him some questions, and he was just throwing back at me. He said I was full of shit, that I was bullshitting him. And um, he was just kind of, I would say, a little mean, you know? But, and uh, at the end of the call, I was like, you know, man, I, I kind of had, had enough of his, maybe I could have closed a deal. I want to get to that in a second. But I kind of didn't really like the way I was being talked to, and so it was an emotional response, to be honest, but I... I hung up, a f I was like, you know what, man, I don't know if this is a good fit. And he laughed at me and kind of, he's like, all right, hung up the phone. And so after those two experiences and then my other two calls, I actually talked to another two other guys that day who were both nice, very nice, but they just didn't, they just weren't a good fit. And then my third call rescheduled for a week later. So I had five calls, two were bad, two were not a good fit. Um, and so afterwards I just kind of felt down, you know, it was a combination of things. Like I also had an exercise for a week, so maybe that, that contributed to it. But either way, I want to talk about how to deal with this kind of situation, like how to deal with the, this, this something bad happening to you. And this is actually something that my sales coach has been uh, just taught, taught me recently, but it's something that I, I've already kind of, I think, tried to implement into my life or something, not something that I do perfectly, but it's definitely a good mindset to have. And it's a difference, in my opinion, between victims and victors. So winners and losers, basically. So what's the difference between victors and victims? Well, both of them have good and bad days. Both victors and victims win and lose, right? Victors still lose sometimes. It's not about necessarily the winning or the losing. It's about the mindset that you have, right? It's about taking responsibility for everything in your life, full ownership, taking full control, and um, really blaming yourself for everything, good and bad. Um, and I know there's books about like how some people, like I read Malcolm Gladwell's book about, it's called Outliers. It talks about how success is actually largely just a combination of one's own um, choices, but also circumstance, which is somewhat is true. But the point is you can't really change your circumstances as far as how you're, who, where you're born, who your parents are, but everything else you can control, right? And so my point is if I, if I go into my next calls thinking, you know what? Those guys I talked to were complete dicks and they were just assholes. They were just jerks. And you know what? I don't even want to order them anyway. Um, whether or not we got along on like a personal level is one thing, but the real, the real, it's not really about that. Like if I were to have that mindset, I would be a, I would say a complete utter failure because I would never learn from those experiences. I would never be able to improve going forward. I would never be able to, um, avoid that situation in the future. And if I just blame it on, you know, oh, those guys were just jerks, or I blame it on my, my company not being good enough, or I blame it on whatever factor, I'm never gonna get better. On the other hand, if I say to myself, you know what, Jacob, maybe those guys weren't the nicest to you, or maybe they weren't the, the best fit, or I don't know, maybe you didn't get along super well, but there are definitely some things that you could have done differently that would have improved the outcome of the call that would have um, at least ended things without annoying the prospects and best case scenario, maybe would have closed a sale or two. Although I don't really know if I want to work with somebody who I didn't get along with, 
But that's besides the point. The point is, there's always something to learn from that, from a situation like that. Great feedback or a success, you can learn from it. You can also learn probably more from a failure. And so I think it's important to take responsibility for everything that happens to you. Even Grant Cardone in his book, 10 X Rule, even says, if you're at a red light, you're stopped at a red light and someone rear ends you, it's still your fault because you were there. So you just have to take full ownership of everything that happens to you and just try and fix it, you know? So rather than just complaining and being, oh, what was me? They hurt my feelings and like, I wish I closed those deals and you know, that kind of thing. I felt kind of down immediately after, I'm not gonna lie. But I realized shortly after, I was like, Jacob, you gotta control your thoughts, man. You can't let this get to you. And better yet, this is an opportunity. You should be excited about this because this opportunity will teach you. You can grow from this, I can grow from this. So I'm gonna go back through, uh, I'm gonna listen to my calls again, and I'm gonna take notes about everything that happened that I think is noteworthy. And I'm gonna reflect on what went well and mostly what didn't go so well. And maybe um, some ways that I could have said things differently or how I could have handled things, listen to my tone, listen to, um, maybe try to figure out why they were angry, if I can. And I think that when I listen to it again, I'm gonna have some more insight and some more wisdom to, to gain from that experience. And I can hopefully use that in the future, you know? And I'm, I'm actually gonna take, take these, um, the, the objections and the, the, everything that happened, I'm going to write them down and I'm gonna ask my sales coach who I'm confident can help because he's a pretty cool guy. So I feel like the moral of the story is victims internalize everything, or no, victims externalize everything and victims internalize everything. Meaning um, a victor is someone who internalizes their problem. So when something happens, how can I change? How can I fix it? How can I move forward and not have this happen again? How can I improve? What can I do? It's in my control. Whereas a victim is like, oh, the government is just, you know, I'm failing because of the government or, you know, the president is just so terrible. So how can I succeed? Or, you know, because of my height, I can't get girls or because I'm bald, I, I you know, I'm ugly or like these stupid things that, you know, you're blaming it on other things that you can't control. And uh, that kind of mindset is just, I've seen it in my own personal life and elsewhere and in myself too. Um, that mindset is is pretty much guaranteed to have you fail. So if you treat life like a game and you treat sales like a game or everything like a game and you play to win and you come to the table and you play to win, it's almost like watching a game film. Like when you play sports, you don't just, especially on a professional team, I don't know if you played sports or if you played video games or anything, but when you play a sport, you don't just go there to like throw the ball around and have it, you know, I mean, if you're like recreational, maybe, but <clears throat> if you're like ever playing on a team, seriously, and you're competitive, you don't play just to screw around, you play to win. And that includes watching game tapes and looking at what went, what went well and what didn't go so well, especially, and learning from those mistakes and taking action and owning up to your mistakes and learning from them. So I think I'm beating a dead horse at this point, so I'm gonna end it here. But um, you know, the good news is I actually did close a sale uh, last week uh, my first customer was X27, so I'm actually doing the onboarding call with him today. Um, and you wanna talk about wins? Well, I was like, you know what? My my pipeline started to empty out last week. Last week I made another mistake. Here's another mistake that I made. I hired a lead generator in Upwork and I gave him a training video and I gave him a test and he did okay on the test pretty well. So I gave him a big batch of work, uh, 250 leads, expecting it to be good. Only 50 of them were actually good leads. The other 200 were crap. So I had to spend a lot of time reviewing them, fixing it, and doing lead generation myself. And I was expecting him to have them ready. Because of that, my leads last week, I didn't send as many emails as I wanted to. Now I could, again, say, oh, it was his fault. It was his fault for not, doing, for not generating the leads. No, it's my fault. I should have, um, first of all, with a new freelancer, I should have still done the lead generation myself, assuming that he was gonna fail. Number two, I should have hired more than just one. I should have done five people to make sure that I had you know, different, different people working. And I should have made better training videos and better, more clear criteria for what the kind of leads I wanted. So going forward this week, to fix this, I'm going to listen to all my calls that went, that went poorly and I'm going to learn from them and talk to my coach about it and talk to my, my accountability partner about it. Number two, I'm going to send more emails and book more meetings. I sent like 50 last night and got three meetings booked so far which is a little lower than I was hoping for because I've been getting around 10 to 20%, but you know, five to 10% is still pretty good. So I got three meetings booked and two of the people said your email, and then actually a third person today. So I've had four meetings booked in the past few, uh, 24 hours. 
The third guy, both, three people said to me that your cold email was amazing. And one guy said that he feels obligated to get on the phone because of how good my outreach was, which is, it's not a sale, but it is, um, I mean, it's an ego booster. But the main thing I'm trying to get at here is it's, it's a small victory. It's a win, right? I told myself, I want to win today. How can I win today? I'm going to send 50 emails. I'm going to, and a few other things. And so by doing that, it's, it's a small victory, right? You got to count, count your blessings, count the victories. Um, so the plan is to, I guess in summary, by the time I talk to you guys again or make another video, I'll probably have, um, I'm going to have sent more emails, a hundred more emails this week. Thursday is Thanksgiving, so I'm not going to send on Thursday, but I'm going to send tomorrow and Friday. So I'm going to do that. I will have made a better training video <clears throat> series for my lead generators, and I will hire five of them on Upwork to actually do test runs. And I will, I think I, I don't know if I said this already, but listen to my, my past calls and make improvements. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Be a victor. Don't be a victim. Do not blame other external factors for your failures. Blame yourself. It is your fault. And that is maybe it may sound scary or, or intimidating, but really it's good when you have that mindset because when it's someone else's fault, that means you can't do anything about it. When it's your fault, it means you can. So that's the mindset to have. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you got some value from this. Um, would love to discuss this idea in the comments below. Take it easy. Bye.